Thomas Cook, the world's oldest travel firm, collapsed on Monday, stranding hundreds of holidaymakers around the globe and sparking largest peacetime repatriation effort in British history. Today on New on Hollywood, we present you with why did this collapse occur and who are the people affected by it and what happens now. First talking about who is affected by this whole scenario, the firm ran hotels, resorts and airlines for 19 million travelers a year in 16 different countries, generating a revenue of 9.6 billion that is 12 billion dollars in 2018 alone. It currently has 600,000 people abroad including more than 150,000 British citizens. Thomas Cook employs 21,000 people and is the world's oldest travel company founded in 1841. The company has 1.7 billion pounds that is 2.1 billion dollars in debt. So what happens to the tourists who have booked with Thomas Cook? The British government has asked the UK Civil Aviation Authority to launch a repatriation program over the next two weeks from Monday to October 6 to bring Thomas Cook customers back to UK. The Civil Aviation Authority said in a press meet and a quote, due to significant scale of the situation, some disruption is inevitable but the Civil Aviation Authority will endeavor to get people home as close as possible to their planned dates. A fleet of aircraft will be used to repatriate British citizens in a small number of destinations, alternative commercial flights will be used. The Civil Aviation Authority has launched a special website thomascook.caa.co.uk where affected customers can find details and information on repatriation flights. For those customers not flying from Britain, alternative arrangements will have to be found. You can find the link in the description below to thomascook.caa.co.uk. On this matter, the CEO of the company said in a press met and a quote, I would like to apologize to our millions of customers and thousands of employees, suppliers and partners who have supported us for so many years. This marks a deeply sad day for the company which pioneered package holidays and made travel possible for millions of people around the world. Now moving on to why did the company collapse. The company was hurt by high debt levels, online rivals and geopolitical uncertainty. Thomas Cook needed another 200 million pounds on top of a 900 million pound package it had already agreed to see it through the winter one. Thomas Cook needed another 200 million pounds on top of a 900 million pound package it had already agreed to see it through the winter months when it receives less gas and must pay hotels for summer services. The request for an 200 million pounds torpedoed the rescue deal that had been months in the making. Thomas Cook bosses met the lenders and creditors in London on Sunday to try to thrash out a last ditch deal to keep the company afloat. They failed. Under the original terms of the plan, Fosun, whose Chinese parent owns all inclusive holiday firm Club Med, would give £450 million of new money in return for at least 75% of the tour operator business and 25% of its airline. Thomas Cook's lending banks and bondholders were to stump a further £450 million and convert their existing debt to equity, giving them in total of about 75% of the airline and up to 25% of the tour operator business. To help us in making more new videos, hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification to get notified for each and every one of our updates.